morning coffee with Priscilla. Let's see, number 42-205 slash <laughs> four. Oh, too funny. So it is Thoughtful Thursday, my most favorite day of the week. Good morning. And let's see um, what the card brings to us this morning, shall we? Let's see, let's see. What are we going to focus on? Hi, Doris. How are you, sweetie? It's an early morning for you, or I'm late, one of the two. <laughs> Maybe a combination of both, huh? <laughs> oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Here we go. As I forgive myself, I leave behind all feelings of not being good enough, and I am free to love myself. Hi, Robert. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. Can you see that? Let's see if I can get that to where you can see it. Oh, dang it. There we go. That is awesome. I love that. <sighs> yes, forgive yourself. Get rid of feeling that you're not good enough. And be free to love yourself. You're early. <laughs> All right, Doris. And of course, you can't you can't read this probably, but this card says, I forgive myself. Oh, there we go. That looks good. That's what we're going to focus on. I forgive myself. So let's see what words Velma has. I cannot wait. You know, I just love when we pull this random card and then we read Velma's words because they always, always tie together. Blows my mind. I absolutely Love it. <laughs> okay, here we go. The wisdom from above is first pure and then peaceful. God's direction is always pure, respectful, kind, gentle, honest, and considerate. It will, it will never urge you to sin in any way. God's wisdom will also bring a calming peace that gives a feeling of this is right. Always wait for this coveted feeling before making life-changing decisions. God works in us to will and to do His good pleasure. Oh, how sweet. Velma goes on to say, Walk out your life with a confidence that no matter what happens, it will work toward good. Many times this is very difficult in the light of something horrible that is going on in your life. But if you can just get yourself to that place of faith that truly trusts God's word, you will receive that peace that we are all looking for, the peace that goes beyond understanding. God is sovereign and he can choose to zap something anytime he wants. If he doesn't, there is a purpose for it. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Pure and peaceful. You know, I used to pray after I lost my son. I used to pray for peace. You know, I just I just needed some peace. I knew that the hurt from losing my son was really never going to go away, but I just needed some peace. I don't know how to explain that, but um don't you feel didn't you feel that way, Doris? I mean, oh, I just needed a little peace. That's it. Just a little peace. Some calming, as Velma's words so adequately um, said, calming, and just give me some peace. Yes. So, you know, let's talk a little. Whoa, I'm losing things here. Sorry, guys. Actually, I can take this one out. Um, forgiving yourself. So, I wonder. If, um, if you're not content with yourself, it's perhaps because you haven't truly found yourself. Um, you're not living true to yourself. Um, you know, you just need to dig deep. You really do. Um, okay. So yesterday I had a gentleman who I listen to, and this may help you guys, okay? I'm gonna put a link in the, uh, depending on where you're watching or listening, in the comments, in the description, um, yeah, wherever you're, you're um, watching, listening, okay? And it's a, an author by the name of Greg Braden, Greg with two G's on the end. 
and he has a free four part series uh, called Key to Self Discovery. And it is awesome. I want you all to receive this gift. It is free. Now, I did get an email today for a course, you know, that he's doing um, that was a bit pricey, but these, this four-part series is free, absolutely free. You do not ever have to buy anything, but I really loved listening to him, not only listening to him because he has a very calm, reassuring presence of, of, uh, about himself, but also he talks about reaching your true heart and how to step out of, you know, today reality, uh, your mind and go into your heart and, you know, listen to the, your heart, present questions to your heart, you know, and I feel like this is what many of you need. You just need to tap into your true heart because if things aren't working out right now, for whatever reason, you need to dig back into that heart and be true to that heart. Your heart knows exactly. It, it just, it just does. And, and your heart is what reaches that subconscious mind of yours, that subconscious that miraculously um, just figures everything out on your behalf and protects you and is the gatekeeper to your soul. <laughs> You know, and you really need to tap into that. You really do. It was um, very touching for me yesterday. Good morning, Mark. Um, it was very touching. And um, yeah, you got to do it. You got to do it. So um, I'm, I want you, please, to make sure you go. I don't know how long this four little four-part series is going to be free and up. It's on Hay House. You know, Thursdays are my Louise Hay Day, um, Thoughtful Thursday. Uh, she was an amazing woman. I just recently found her, oh, just a little um, less than a year ago. And um, what an amazing woman all in and of herself. Well, her company, Hay House, this, this author, Greg Braden, um, it has this four-part series, guys. Uh, they're like, one of them is 11 minutes, one 16, 20, 20. So, you know, a little over an hour, closer to an hour and a half invest in your time, but they're four videos. So you can chunk them up if you need to. Wow. I, I just really want you to take some time for yourself and watch it, watch it because if it, um, resonates with you, it's going to help you reach that true you. That's it. That's all you got to do guys. And then, you know, forgive yourself, forget about it. There's not going to be any forgiving needing because you'll be living true to your heart, period. Live true to your heart. Whew. All right. Well, have an amazing Thursday, guys. Thanks for stopping by and having coffee with me. I appreciate it. And um, yeah, go have an amazing day. Tomorrow's Friday. Woohoo! <laughs> who's happy for Friday? And who's on your mind? Somebody's on your mind. You need to reach out to them. Reach out, reach out, reach out. You know, I always say you might be the one that needs to hear from that other person. So just do it. All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Love you. Bye now.